This is my boy Alexander. We're fucking around over there. Somebody get over here and wash this zoo down. Look at this bitch. Alright. Here's the plan. Manual. Shift on the fly. No TOD. We're going to manual locking hubs. We're going from auto to manual locking hubs. I already did one side. I'll make a couple of short videos of what's up. And uh, you guys can follow along. Alright, first thing I'm going to do, six heads, hex head cap screws coming out. Alright, the metric, what size, fuck knows, alright? If I figure it out, I'll let you know. Alright, so once I take that off, I'll, I'll reshoot and show you some more shit. Alright? Alright, so, turned out, I popped off the dust cap. So all it is is a dust cap. Keeps the grease in and the dust and dirt and shit out as best as it can. Not very good, but it does what it does. Those are eight millimeter. All right, that's an eight millimeter socket head cap screw, grade five. If I'm a gambling man, because it's black with no markings. All right. Anyway, next step is, as you guys can see, on my auto, I have one circlip, 26 millimeters. I don't have anything here. All right. Alright, so I'm going to remove the circlip, and then I'm going to take this outer off, right here. Alright, that'll be in the next video, and I'll piece all this shit together on YouTube. Alright. Alright, so basically, I took off this cap right here. Again, that was the 8mm. Alright, hex head caps. Under here, you've got your, your, uh, this is what locks all this hub onto the shaft. Alright, and, uh basically don't have to touch any of it so as of right now I'm going to shift over and unpack the other crap the manual locking stuff but that's it you don't reuse any of that with the exception of maybe the circlip if you didn't get one when you bought um, auto uh, manual locking hub sorry but um, my auto locking has the 26 millimeter circlip I just removed it from that outer right there where my dirty fingernail is it's going to go right back in that spot, and you'll see in a couple of minutes. Um, all right. All right, so this is what Jerry sent me. All right. Um, these are these are 10 millimeter right here, hex head. Um, these are the eights socket. Uh, so basically, I already unscrewed these. I'm going to pop this cover off. And lo and behold, he's got a gasket in there and all that shit that stays just like it is. Alright, well, it's just like that. He provides a circlip, 26 millimeters. I already got one. No shim on this side. I'll see how it looks when I pop it on. And we'll go from there. So basically, I'm going to take this thing here and I'm going to line it up on here. Alright, line up the holes. And now I want to see how much space I have here, whether I need the shimmy scent for the other side behind the zir clip or not. All right, another one coming up as soon as I figure it all out. All right, so in this instance, I am going to use the spacer that Jerry sent. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it behind though. I know uh, it should go in front probably, but I don't care. I'm going to put it behind because it feels better back there. This is definitely not 26 millimeters. And it's kind of got a lot of free play in it. I don't want to fucking up the circlip. So now, I'm going to pop this back on. And we line it up. Once I put the circlip on there, then you will... Hold on a second. Let me... Uh, Let me, let me just stick it on here while I'm still going. Alright. So basically... It goes right in even with the... Uh, you know, I don't like it, so... What I'm going to do is shut this off and flip it to the front side and see if that fixes it. Alright, don't go away. Alright, Zootards, so we live and we learn. 
I moved the I moved the spacer from the back to the front, and I got no no slop now. Why I don't know, but that's the fucking way it is. So listen here, if you need the spacer, it goes on the front side behind the circlet. See how it's a little sloppy, moves around back there behind it if you push hard enough. Well, fuck it, it's just the way it is. All right, next step coming up, couple seconds. I'm gonna pack this bitch up with grease. Don't know if you're supposed to or not, but I don't give a fuck because nobody wants to tell me. So we're going to pack it up. Can't hurt. Alright? Alright. Packed it up with red grease. About to put the lock on, the manual lock. Um, got it in the free position. What I did was I just basically moved it around until it drops right into place. Make sure you have your gasket on the back side of it to stop, uh, you know, all the shit, you know grease and all from coming out but basically I'm just gonna move it around and I'm gonna put those little bolts that take the 10 millimeters in there all right all right last video I'm gonna piece it home later hopefully this isn't that dark my battery's at like three percent anyway there you go all I did was put the outer cap on tighten those 10 millimeters down you can see I'm in free then you just swing it over the lock to lock up the to lock up the hubs the front hubs Alright, so now I'm going to hopefully get better gas mileage. I'll let you Zootards know once I know. What I'm going to do is I'll post these up one at a time, and then I'll, uh, I'll link them all together and put them on, on my YouTube channel. Alright, uh, luckily for me that uh, Jerry, the, uh, the, the great parts guru from Zuzu, sent me that little spacer. It did take up quite a bit of slack. They only sent me one, but apparently one's all you need. I didn't need one on the left front, but I did need it on the right front. All right. I bought center caps. Uh, I bought them an inch too long. I don't want them covering this fucking lock and unlock shit like a hood. So I'm going to send them back. But I did put in uh, I did put in, in the back over here. I put in the caps back here with new... Uh, it's hard to see, man. We're in Florida. Fucking sun. Hold on. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but I put in new center caps and new uh, new lug nuts, no locks. All right, hope this helps you guys. All right, be good. See you later.